Hey, this is Kat. Um, I am a teacher of IT. I'm also a travel blogger. Um, and what I thought I'd do today very quickly is show you how to make a Google map um, and then embed that map into your blog post. So first of all, I'm going to go to maps.google.com.au. Um, you may have noticed already that I am actually signed into my Google account. So if you've got a Gmail account or a YouTube account, or a Google Plus account, obviously you have a Google account. So it shows my little icon there and my name, that's how I see that I'm logged in. Um, and I just click in this search bar top left there and it actually gives me the option of clicking on My Maps. I'm actually going to create a new one. So click the button that says Create and it will open up a new tab for you. Um, and I can straight away start making my map. So the little hand allows me to select things as I go also allows me to drag the map around. Adding marker points is what allows me to put little markers on my map. I can draw lines between the markers if I like. Uh, you can add in directions and you can measure distances. Um, I'm just going to use the markers for the moment. So let's say I'm in Hobart, so I'm going to add Hobart to my map. And I'm going to click this marker point. This one just shows the green marker point just shows where I've searched to. It hasn't actually added that marker. Um, so I'm going to drop my little pin at Salamanca. So I make sure I've clicked on add a marker. And Salamanca is a lovely place to visit. So Salamanca Market. Um, somewhere else that is a nice place to visit if you're coming to Tasmania is Mount Wellington. So I'm going to add another marker there. Um, Mona Museum is very, very popular for the tourists these days. So Mona in Berrydale, Tasmania. Add marker. And I'm going to drop that pin there. Okay, so considering this is just a little demo, that's fine to have three points going to give my map a name so all I did was click on where it said untitled map and I'm going to call this one Tasmania tour and save that one. Now for you to be able to put this on your blog you need to do two things. The first thing is to make it public so we click on the share button. Um, I'm going to save that so if you hadn't already named it you can do it there. Now here who has access it says private we want to change that to be public on the web so anyone can see it. We'll save that um, and we're just going to click done. Okay, so we've made it public and so now we have the ability to embed that into our blog. So we click on these three little dots and we're going to say embed on my site. And it's given me some code here, that's HTML code, which is um, the language that the, the web the internet speaks. So what we're going to do is just that's already selected. So I'm going to copy that. So you could type Control C or Command C, or you could right click on it and say copy. Then the other tab that I have open is I've already logged into my WordPress site and I've created a new blog post. My post is called Embedding a Google Map into Your Blog Post, topically. Um, now the really important thing here is I've copied HTML code. And when I edit my blog post, I've got two ways to do it. I've got visual and I've got text. If I click on the text one, that actually allows me to use that special HTML code. So I'm going to click in there and I'm going to paste the code that I copied. And if you're not good at HTML, then the first thing I recommend you do once you've pasted that in is you go straight back to that visual tab. And it will show you that there is a large element in your blog. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm actually just going to click the preview button and it will show me what that post is going to look like. So here we go. Here is my little Tassie map. I can zoom out. I can zoom in. I can move it around. should be able to click on a point and it will tell me the name. So I've just closed out of that preview, back to my blog post, 
Um, I might want to have some little text in the bottom here. Hey, check out my map. It's amazing. So once I'm done, I just click publish. So there you go, how to create a Google map and then embed it into your blog post. Much luck with creating your travel maps. Happy adventures.